Floodwaters have forced the indefinite closure of Yellowstone National Park. Hundreds of homes have been damaged and thousands of people evacuated. In the small town of Red Lodge in Montana, a gateway to the park, residents were taken by surprise as water went from a trickle to a torrent in a matter of hours. There's about two feet in the, covering the entire street in front of our house, just, you know, rolling as fast as the river. That bank it's being eroded away, and we don't know how far underneath it's being eroded away, and so it could really go in at any minute. Whoa. Heavy rain on top of melting snow has triggered rock and mudslides and pushed rivers to record levels. One house tipped into the waters and floated for eight kilometers before sinking. The water is still up high in a lot of places. Um, lots and lots of folks experiencing a lots of extensive damage. Um, and that, and those are, that's going to remain to be seen in the days to come. Um, as far as duration, um, we're, we're in for, for the long haul as far as helping folks. The flooding is taking place amid other extreme weather events in the United States. Parts of the Midwest and East Coast are sizzling in a heat wave and other parts of the West are experiencing an early wildfire season and persistent drought.